Yo, what's good, you guys? Your boy Bill Mahari here, represent Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Bad news for the haters. I am officially back. <laughs> yeah, I'm officially back, you guys. Back at it making videos again. Back at it making live streams again. Yep, we about ready to do this, this thing again, guys. I want to give a major shout out to all my subscribers and all the members of the LDBC for their constant support, man. I've been very busy, you know, with work, you know, and trying to balance things out in my in my uh, personal life right now. But now things are slowly getting together. So now I got more spare time to make videos at this stage. So we're back at it again. So let's get down to business, shall we? So we're going to get back at it to boxing and back to battle to any other sport we, we're going to talk about. And by the way, my famous show of Basketball Conversations will return. On Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time. So don't miss it, you guys. Again, basketball conversations, the return. But Friday night at 9 p.m. Central Time. Don't miss it. All right. So we're going to get down to the business here, guys. So Mr. Terrence Crawford has finally stand up to Bob Arum and Top Rank. And I'll tell you what. This has been a long time coming. And for all the new people that is uh, coming in and, and figuring out what the hell is going on here. Bob Arum is being sued by uh, t by uh, Terrence Crawford for basically racial discrimination and, you know, his personal uh, bias against black fighters. And considering the fact that Terrence Crawford has been in with top rank for so many years, he has some, you know, incriminating evidence to the contrary to against his law uh, for his lawsuit. Right now. I've been watching around social media and been kind of listening around, you know, other uh, figures who worked in top ranked, you know, coming into the defense of Bob Arum. And this to me does, is not surprising at all because to me, a lot of them are just straight up company men or just straight up sellouts to me that are only there about their money. That's all there is. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing, too, guys like George Foreman. Guys like uh, Tim Bradley and all other people, they don't surprise me as that at all because to me they're just they're low key company men that love top rank top rank representing them, and I don't even take it that too much seriously at all. All they had to do was just not say anything at all. But either way, it doesn't look good for them. You know, standing up and listening to uh, Bob Arum's advice at, at the contrary, but. What really tells me is that Terrence Crawford has finally seen the light about what's been going on with, with Bob Arum. Because now he understands that it's not been the fighters of the PBC. It hasn't been the fighters at Matchroom. It has not been the fighters of any of any other promotional company you can name. Even Golden Boy Promotional. And we know how you know disgusting they are. We're not going to get into d deep details. We'll leave that alone. But what Terrence Crawford has finally realized is that the one man that has been responsible for delaying his growth and pretty much delaying him from getting all the big tough fights that he truly deserves. And that man has been Bob Arum. I mean, come on, you guys. Bob Arum never legitimately created top rank. All right. That was created by Muhammad Ali himself until one of his, you know, disgusting, you know, managers took advantage of him and pretty much sold top rank to Bob Arum. And that's how they've been able to take the goods of uh, top rank from Ali's nose. That's all that's all there is, you guys. Top rank was never originally created by Bob Arum. We have to we have to remind ourselves of that. Because apparently not, not many boxing heads don't even know about that at all. Even I knew that. I knew when I did a pro, uh, research project about Muhammad Ali, I even knew as a youngster that Bob Arum was a disgusting, you know, boxing, you know, head that pretty much wanted to get inside of the game. And it wasn't until I, one of Ali's managers who pretty much sold all the rights to Bob, the top rank at the time to Bob Arum. That's how Ali was able was able was got cut out of all the money that he truly should have been deserves. If you think about it, that's how the Muhammad Ali Act was created in the first place because of that. Okay, now what really is telling to me is, is that Mr. Crawford is basically asking for a jury trial because he in his in, from his from his side has a lot of criminal evidence. They pretty much support his claims about what he believes about about Bob Arum, and to me, I believe him. All right, and I and I've been hearing about people saying like, well, why could he stand up to Bob Arum years ago when he could have a chance to stop? Well, because listen, here's here's the thing, you guys. What y'all don't don't understand is 
is that Terrence Crawford had to go through that experience and understand the full experience about Bob Aaron and what he does. Okay? And yes, we wish we would have not he would have not signed with top rank years ago. Resigned with them, I should say. But now, because of what he did and because of what he's been being able to see for what Bob Aaron's been pretty much doing to a lot of the black fighters in his stable, now he has full legitimate evidence to really believe that to really push the, the issue of you know racial discrimination against top uh, by top rank. And I truly do believe he believe it has been that the case. And any and if you listen to a lot of other interviews, and I remember an interview that uh Alex Ariza did, you know, years ago when he used to work with Manny Pacquiao. He talked about this in full detail about how how Bob Aram is a disgusting human being and how he pretty much, you know, abuses, you know, his own fighters to try to make his own profits. And he will pretty much use you. And when he has no use for you, you're pretty much toast. That's it. You're done. Even even if you were still undefeated, if he feels that he has no use for you, you're done. And the full evidence of that is when he pretty much crapped on uh, Terrence Crawford, when he pretty much said that I, could, I, could, I can't even sell a house with Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? The bottom line is everything about Bob Arum speaks to the fact that he does not care about black fighters and he does not he does not know or does not want to promote black fighters. And that's all there is. You know what I mean? Top rank is pretty much a beginning profile for a lot of young, young up and coming fighters to get their foot in the door. That's it. But once they are finished with their contract, what most fighters typically will do is basically get their profile done from an established movement by top rank. And then after that, when they feel more established and they know that they can make more money, they will distance themselves from Bob Aram and start their own promotion. Just ask Oscar De La Hoya. Just ask Miguel Cotto. Ask Manny Pacquiao. And hell, even ask Floyd Mayweather. Because remember, Floyd Mayweather was promoted by top rank earlier in his career until he basically drew, basically bought out his contract from top rank in between 2006 and 2007 to become his old promoter because pretty much he saw the he saw the writing on the wall. Now, keep this in mind. Floyd Mayweather could have done the same thing that Terrence Crawford is doing now and pretty much put the royal, you know, put the royal screw job to Bob Arum and pretty much prove the point that Bob Arum is pretty much a racist promoter. But he didn't do that. He only cared about the money. What Terrence Crawford is doing what he's doing is that he's doing a huge thing that's going to shake the to shake the uh, quote unquote establishment of boxing, and I'm all for that. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Bob Arum has been pretty much doing this for decades, and and if you keep listening to all the stories away from mass media about what Bob Arum does and how he intentionally screws his fighters, you know what he's capable of. We know what this man will intentionally do to you to try to make a quick buck. That's what pretty much what Top Rank is in a nutshell, okay? And I really appreciate the fact that now that Terrence Crawford is finally having the courage and the and pretty much the belief in himself to pretty much stand up to this, and he and he pretty much has the evidence full full in detail in his hands. So they're trying. So right now, Top Rank is trying to do their best to try to you know buy, try to you know buy out Terrence Crawford and try to stop this whole case from happening. And don't be surprised if a lot of the media starts siding with uh with Bob Aaron because there's already been a couple of them that's been doing that right now. People like Kevin Ioli from Yahoo Sports that is siding with uh, Bob Aram. You know what I mean? Timothy Bradley with his company looking ass, you know, already siding with Bob Aram. Trust me, it's going to get ugly. It's really going to get ugly. But when the smoke clears, I believe that Terrence Cropper will win his case. I truly believe that he's got the enough of the incriminating evidence to put against a jury trial, which is going to put Bob Aram in a huge situation where he's just going to have to accept his defeat. So that's just pretty much what I believe was going to happen. So we just have to wait and continue to follow the stories as it continues to, to develop. But in a, but overall, I'm proud of Terrence Crawford for doing the right thing and standing up to Bob Aram. So. And hopefully this will inspire other fighters from top rank that has been going through the same familiar situation that they're going through to pretty much have the courage to stand up and pretty much put the royal, you know, screw job to Bob Arum. All right. And don't be surprised years later that Shakur Stevenson follows the same route and gets the hell out of top rank. All right. Because we know how outspoken the youngster Shakur Stevenson is. So don't be surprised if, if Bob Arum 
does the same thing to score Stevenson. And when the score Stevenson's contract expires, don't be surprised if he decides, decides to dip out too and starts and starts telling the same familiar stories that Terrence Crawford is going through right now. So that's just my two cents. I'm officially back, you guys, back at it, making videos again. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And with that, I'm out. Peace.